When a group of dihydrogen gather in the center of cosmic cloud, they react with each other with an explosive reaction called the nuclear fusion. This nuclear fusion gives us the helium gases. This explosive helium begins to attract to each other after they get in colder and make the subhelical shape with a center of gazer hydrogen and that what we call now the star due to the star mass there will be a gravitational force it tries to compress the star but inside the star there is a nuclear fusion works in the opposite side of the gravitational force and that makes the star in a state of equilibrium after a passage of time the nuclear fusion stock will end so gravity starts to crashing the star until the star radius reaches a certain value and become a black hole. In order to understand the black holes, we need to know about the escape velocity concept, which is the velocity that makes an object has the ability to escape from the gravity of a planet or a star or anything has a mass. And it's represented by this equation. Now let's imagine we have a massive star and when it begins to compress it reach a point that even the light can't escape from it. This radius of the massive plant is called the Schwarzschild radius. This scientist name is Karl Schwarzschild. He was in one of the Germany trenches in World War I. In this gloomy place, he find out that there is an error in the universe. I made this equation. From this equation, I want to just to focus on this part. If you notice, you will find out that this part is the, the escaping velocity of light equation. But in instead of putting the velocity in the left side, we put the radius in the left side. So we can exchange all this constant and just put Schwarz shared radius. Now we have radius divided by radius. This equals to 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. But the 0 in the denominator. Now we have two information about black holes. 1. The light can't escape from it. 2. The black holes is a local where the time and place are distorted any object can turn into a black hole you just need to compress compress it until it reaches Schwarzschild radius